at Ray House on Ohio University South Green, something very big is going on in a very small way, and it's as cute as a button. Ohio University senior and resident assistant Kate Conley has a creative way to raise money and awareness for charity. It's Kill a Kate's Buttons, handmade button accessories for a cause. My name is Kate Conley. I'm from Sheffield Lake, Ohio. Um, I'm a senior in marketing, and that has nothing to do with my button jewelry business, but it's just convenient. Um, I started the button jewelry because I went to a craft fair in Chicago over winter break last year, and I bought a pair of white heart button earrings, and I thought they were so cute. I found heart-shaped buttons at Michael's, and I decided that I could just do them myself. So then I made a bunch of colored ones for myself, and then I realized that girls on campus would buy them instantaneously. So I decided to just make them in like mass amounts and sell them on Facebook. From pins to rings, Killicate's buttons had something for everyone, even earrings to match your most precious commodities. My friend Morgan Dominic is, was a team captain for us for Student Alumni Board, and that's the team that I was on. Um, we placed second, by the way, at Relay for Life. But um, we were talking about fundraising ideas, and we were just brainstorming, and she's like, oh, you should do it for Relay for Life, and she was just totally joking, but I was like, that's a great idea. I sold them for $4 each but a dollar each went to Relay for Life. So um, I think that helped the sale, if anything, because a lot of the moms, I mean, they were walking for cancer during mom's walk. So um, they were already in that mindset. So um, I did that. And then ever since then, between that event, Moms Weekend, and the actual event of Relay for Life, I was selling them online through my Facebook photo album, um, $4 each and then a dollar each would go to Relay. Oh, Relay for Life is just my favorite thing in the world. And then I got really into like the fundraising this year, which is why I did so well. Um, but it was just, it's always just a really great experience. Even though it rained, it was still a lot of fun. Um, well, at the event, I sold 45 items, and so that would be $45. But I also had a side bucket for money, and that raised 15 so that was 60 just at the event for Relay for Life. And then um, since then, I've probably sold 30 items and um, that like a dollar of each item went to Relay. So my friend is the captain of the Synchronized Skating Team and they had raised money for charity but that charity fell through and she knew that I had been fundraising for Relay for Life so she gave me what they had earned for their charity and that was 355 and I had raised 355 on my own so together we raised 710 so that all went under my name and um, so that showed on the website that I was in the top 10 at Ohio University out of a thousand participants. But for Kate, getting crafty to raise money for Relay for Life isn't always a walk in the park. When I started it, it was just like for my own ability to wear them. And then after that, it was like a stress reliever. And then I started making money off of it, but I would kind of stop like after a little while and like take a break from it because it wasn't just like a stress reliever anymore. It actually like brought stress upon me because then it was a business. But it is generally really fun. And it actually, the mom's market was really fun to sell at too because I just like love talking to people. And there was just a ton of girls with their moms just walking by and like I knew a lot of them and stuff. So it's been fun overall. Even though Ohio University's Relay for Life events are over, you can still get a hold of some of Killa Kate's button accessories while they're on sale for $2 a piece. Everything's $2, so I'm just pretty much trying to get rid of a lot of things before everyone goes off to go home. Mm -hmm.